Toyota recently held an event at its North American headquarters in Plano, Texas, where they showed a bunch of new product to automotive writers and analysts. The new Toyota BZ4X concept. BZ, which stands for Beyond Zero, will be a new sub-brand for Toyota. We even saw things I can't share with you now, but I can talk about the all-new 2022 Lexus NX. So everybody at the event was allowed to see the NX, but weren't allowed to photograph it. But you're with me, and I'm one of the few that are allowed inside to take pictures. So come on, follow me. Okay, we're heading into the secret studio. I'm bootied up. And here, folks, is the 2022 Lexus NX. It's not moving from here, so no driving impressions. The exterior design is different, yet as a whole, recognizable as an NX, especially the back pillar. It's ever so slightly larger than the outgoing model, like a half an inch in all dimensions. The spindle grille is reworked a bit, of course it is. The design is more conservative now, with the facets in the flanks toned down. Notice anything about the back end, other than the horizontal light bar? No Lexus logo on the rump, and it's the first time the brand is spelled out across the back, and yes, that is a new font. Wish this would have been tucked under the spoiler lip. Active, variable suspension and performance dampers can be had with F-Sport models. This is a turbocharged 350. Uh, the hood feels like it's aluminum. There are four powertrains, a naturally aspirated four-cylinder, a turbocharged four-cylinder, a hybrid, and for the first time, a plug-in hybrid that has an estimated all-electric range of 36 miles. The base NX250 makes 203 horsepower. This 2.4 turbo four-cylinder in the NX350 makes 275. The NX350H's all-wheel drive hybrid system producing 239 horses is now significantly quicker and more efficient by 6 MPG. The NX450H Plus plug-in hybrid is the most powerful, doing the zero to 60 dash in six seconds flat. Gas powertrains shift gears with an 8-speed automatic and can be front or all-wheel drive. Hybrids get Toyota's unique eCVT with a starting gear and standard all-wheel drive with the rear wheels driven by electric motors. Lexus says that the take rate on each of the powertrains should be about equal, though the plug-in will most likely be in shorter supply. Inside, there's a new vibe happening with less cut and sewn stitching on the dash. This F-Sport model is done up in black and circuit red new Lux material. Optional ambient lighting offers 64 colors and 14 themes like rainforest and sunset. Sun worshipers, there's a new panoramic glass roof. A huge departure, not just for the NX, but for Lexus, is a new user interface designed internally by Toyota. The first thing you're gonna notice is just this beautiful screen, this massive 14 inch high definition touchscreen with all these vivid colors that just pop out. Doesn't feel like Lexus. And, and then there's no touchpad. So that's, that's the second big difference. And you know, Lexus is known for that touchpad. Um, that's gone. But then very quickly, they're gonna get into the actual design of the system. And what they're gonna see is it doesn't, there's nothing that feels common to the old system, nothing. For example, natural voice commands are triggered by the phrase, hey Lexus, and it will get over the air updates so there's room to grow. I have to use footage from Lexus since I'm running out of time in the studio. Digital latch isn't just a push button door release, it works with safe exit assist to keep the doors shut if vehicles and cyclists are approaching from the rear. And yeah, it has an override if you live in Manhattan. Android and Apple phones can be used as keys and shared with seven authorized friends and family, uh, trusted friends and family. Wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are standard. There's a bit more room in back now, and heated seats are available here in top trims. I'm showing Evil Twin that there are two seat pockets. It'll make him happy. The Lexus safety system is stuffed with tech. Highlights are automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise with curve speed management, and left turn oncoming vehicle detection and braking. Great stuff. I'm nowhere near a Costco and I can't get any TP from the facilities folks here, so you're going to have to use your imagination when it comes to the trunk. 
This seems to be the usual amount of space in a class that includes Audi Q5, BMW X3, or Cadillac XT4. The Lexus, based on the same architecture as RAV4, is kind of a tweener when it comes to size. Available in the fourth quarter of 2021, pricing hasn't been set. The current range is $39,000 for a front-wheel drive turbo model to $50,000 for a loaded all-wheel drive hybrid. Certainly, there will be an upcharge for the plug-in 450H+. Well, that's it with my very limited time in the studio with the 2022 Lexus NX. In fact, I stole a few minutes away from the next guy in line. All right, I'm getting booted out by Alex. Sorry, Alex, sorry to take up your time. Okay. Enjoy. See you later. Well, there you go. That's your first look at the all new 2022 Lexus NX. Usually every Tuesday, it's a high quality car review video, but every once in a while, something special like this. Thanks for watching. Uh, I got a pair of booties out of this deal. That's Driven, I'm Tom Volk.